Today I'm going to teach you not one, not two, but three icebreaker games that you can play with any team on a video conferencing software like Zoom. Now these three icebreaker games are titled, Would You Rather, Where in the World Is, and Pass the Word. Each one can be played with a team of between five people to 30 people up to, I don't even know, maybe 300 people on Zoom. And they are a ton of fun and they require exactly zero supplies as long as you get everyone on your video conferencing software. Now in a professional world, we want to dress professional even when we're on video conferencing. However, we're going to have a little bit of fun with these games, so let me go get a little bit more casual. All right, so let's have some fun. So the first game I'm gonna teach you is how to play Would You Rather via video conferencing. It's really simple. First, before you get on the video conference, you should create a list of questions that have two options. They might have more options than that, but create at least two. So what you're gonna do is you're going to get on the call and you're gonna say, hey everybody, we're gonna play a game called Would You Rather just to kick off this video conference in call. And so you teach them is you say, I'm gonna ask a question and I want you to hold up one finger if you choose option number one or two fingers if you would choose option number two. For example, would you rather watch Netflix number one or Disney Plus number two? And then you give everyone a couple of minutes, you can joke around about it and different things and then you move on to the next question. Super fun and super simple. That is would you rather. The next game I wanna teach you is a brand new one you might not have heard before because we just created it. It is called Pass the Word. Here's how you play. So someone is gonna start off by holding an imaginary ball on their video conferencing call. It might be you. So you would start off by holding the ball and you say the first word that pops in your head and then you say the name of somebody else on the call with you and you throw the ball through the screen, they catch the imaginary one and then they say the first word that pops into their head. Then they say the name of somebody else and then you keep going. So if I wanted to start the game, I would say, Apple, John, and you pass it. And then John would catch it, he would say, bananas, and then he would pass it to Mary or someone else. So it's really simple, really fun. You can make it go as long as you want to or as short as you want to. A really simple way to get back to how to finish is to have someone pass you the ball and then you can say, great job everyone, we just completed it. Now, one pro tip for you is try to make sure that everybody on the call is included. So if you can, especially if you have about 30 people or so, keep going and encourage them to pass to someone who has not been passed to before. So now for the last game, I'm gonna teach you a game called Where in the World Is Carmen San Diego. No, that's not it. It's called Where in the World Is. How you play is very simple. On most video conferencing softwares, if you hit the gallery view, you can see everybody's screen side by side. For example, if you have nine people, you're gonna have three rows of three people. And what happens is on my screen, I would see Sean, Byron, Emily, and then so on and so forth. But if I'm Emily, I might see Billy, Katie, Byron, it's all in different order. And so this is a really fun game that emphasizes where are they on your screen. So in order to play, you would start off by saying, we're gonna play a game called Where in the World Is. What happens is the first person goes, and I would say, where in the world is Emily? And everyone on their screen would use their finger and point either up, down, left or right, or at an angle, and point to where Emily is on their video screen. So I would point up. Then Emily would smile, she would laugh, she would wave, and what she would do is she then gets to pass it on to somebody else. She would say, where in the world is Katie? She would point up, down, left, right, everybody's pointing um, at wherever Katie is on their video screen. So it's again really fun, really simple, and it's a great way just to have fun with the scenario that you're in, which is on a video conference call, which can sometimes be awkward, so let's make it fun. Well, we hope that you enjoy those three games and playing them with your team. Drop a comment below and let us know how it goes, as well as share with us what's your favorite icebreaker activity to play on video conferencing right now. We would love to learn from you. If you're a leader who wants to grow in your communication skills, we've got the perfect resource for you. It's called More Than a Microphone for Communicators, and we have it in the description below, a link where you could take you straight to that and check 
check it out. It'll help teach you best tips, tricks, and principles that will allow you to communicate more effectively to your team, even if it's through video conferencing. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already to our YouTube channel, we'd love it if you would click the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon, which means that you can get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you tune in to our other social media channels, especially on Instagram, where we're gonna start going live more often and doing even more digital icebreaker games and having some fun while we're all forced to engage on the internet.